Hey guys, Jason, and today I want to talk about bootstraps. And no, I'm not trying to tell you to you know pick yourself up by your bootstraps, although we seem to talk about that a lot, don't we? Um, I want to talk about a cryptocurrency bootstrap. And you're going to ask yourself, what is a bootstrap? Well, in simplest form, a bootstrap is all the cryptocurrency blockchain data. Okay, well, what is Bitcoin? Where does this cryptocurrency blockchain data? Well, when you have a cryptocurrency wallet, or be that Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, any of the coins, on your computer, your computer downloads all of the blocks, which is kind of like all the transactions, um, a transaction log, if you want, is what we usually refer to as a blockchain, to your computer. And with some computers, this can become a very large file. And so, with things like Bitcoin, for instance, Bitcoin, um, as of yesterday, was 20... <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm having to cough right, really bad. Um, yesterday, Bitcoin <laughs> was 23.2 gigabytes. Now, you might say, well, you know, I have a fast internet connection. I can download that pretty quick. No, you can't, and I'm going to explain why. Bitcoin, or, or all cryptocurrency clients, are peer-to-peer. -peer. <laughs> so the likelihood of you ever getting max speed is almost impossible. You know, it's going to take, I know, um, last time I downloaded a Bitcoin client, it took like 14 days. Again, that was on a home connection. You know, I throttled it, but it took a while. Um, so a lot of people say, well, you know, if I want to go out and get the, you know, Bitcoin Core wallet, it takes forever to download. Well, bootstraps are your answer. Bootstraps are a way to implement and download the blockchain without downloading it through the peer-to-peer -peer software. So the most common way to get a bootstrap file, which it's um, referred to as bootstrap.dat, is by a torrent. And you might say, well, Jason, torrent is peer-to-peer -peer and Bitcoin is peer-to-peer. -peer. What's the advantage? Well, the torrent file, you already have all the files. And everybody has these torrent files they have on their computer, or most people do, that are seeding these uh, torrent files. And don't worry, and I'm going to tell you guys, make sure it's PGP signed, which means it's, it, in simple terms, it means that it, it's secure, that it hasn't been altered, hasn't been, you know, anything put inside of it. And with a torrent file versus, you know, Bitcoins or any of the cryptocurrencies, peer-to-peer -peer files or, you know, internal um, networking capability systems, well, it's a lot faster. So on average, I know I, I just talked to somebody last night about this who does or and seeds one of these torrent files. He says on average it takes about about 12 hours to download. So that's pretty nice. You can download through a torrent in 12 hours versus 14 days. Um, currencies where it's larger blockchain data is a lot more um, better for this. Now I know some some of you guys might be out there and say, well, Jason, you know that's true, but Bitcoin switched over, haven't they? Haven't they started recommending the other wallet? They've you know recommended other wallets, not the Bitcoin Core. That's true, but the thing is, is the bit. <coughs> sorry, um, the Bitcoin Core edition is what everybody kind of gets because it's the original. It's the one that's still kept up to date. Um, the other wallets that I'm referencing um, don't store the entire blockchain on your computer, so it doesn't use up as much space. But a lot of people like to have the entire blockchain on the computer, and so Bootstraps make it really easy to get that. Another inference, you know, Bitcoin. There's enough people hosting Bitcoin peers. You know what I mean? Or um, they're hosting it on like a server somewhere, but with smaller coins, for instance, I mine foreign coin, and there's not that many people that run their, their, their wallet, you know, 24 seven. I think there's like seven people that keep their wallet up. And so if you're trying to update or download the foreign coin wallet, it's gonna take forever. I'm trying to upload, download it to a, a laptop right now. It's taking like six days to download. It takes a forever time. On their website, they have a PGP signed bootstrap file you can download. And so what happens is you download this PGP, um, you know, sign, bootstrap.bat file, and you can incorporate that into your wallet. And by doing so, you speed up the downloading the transaction um, log files or the blockchain very, very quickly. And for users like myself that's very um, time sensitive, that likes you know the downloads up really quick, they like to be on fast internet connections, bootstrap versus normal peer-to-peer um, -peer downloading from the client is a no-brainer. I want to reference another thing real quick. Bitcoin's version 0.7.1, which is a while ago, it's like five or six months ago now, um, they actually enabled a support for bootstrap that, bootstrap dot dat files, which means you can literally, once you download it from the torrent or from a website, you can just pull it and drag and drop into your wallet files and it the program does the rest for you. Some of these other small cryptocurrencies, they're not enabled yet, so you have to do a little bit of tweaking. Uh, there's very easy tutorials on YouTube or um, blogs that explain how to do it. It's very simple, I've done it before. But I wanna talk about people, sometimes um, I've read a lot of people don't understand what bootstraps are, and I think it's a very important thing because if I tell my aunt or my uncle or anyone that I know, go download the Bitcoin Core um, wallet, and they download, they say, well, it just it's taking forever to download. 
Well, yeah, it's going to take like 16 days to download on a home connection, and it's going to use up your internet. Versus, you know, opening a, a torrent like uTorrent or BitTorrent and downloading it in 12 hours, or downloading it from a website in less than, you know, depending on your speed. I know for my speed up here, I can download it like in three minutes, right? So it's kind of a no-brainer. It makes it a lot easier. It makes a, um, the simplicity of getting the client or the original core client a lot different because I know a lot of coins like Bitcoin, you know, they, they're recommending the one that doesn't download the entire blockchain now. Peercoin has one like that. They, they, they have the original client that they still upgrade and update, but then they have the lighter version. A lot of coins are doing this now, but people like myself like to have the entire blockchain on there. I know they say there's no real point, but it's, I like to have the original. I like having Bitcoin Core just because I know like um, Gavin's working on it or Gavin, however you say his name. He's a fantastic developer for Bitcoin, the lead developer. And I like the Bitcoin Core version better. And I know a lot of people do. They like the core original version. And some coins, um, other popular currency coins, there's only one wallet out there. And so you have to download it. And sometimes it can be like 10 gigabytes with only like five to six peers. A bootstrap file is the best way to go. So if you're downloading the client, a client for a cryptocurrency, get the bootstrap.dat file. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.